Imagine an island so remote it's closer to outer space than to the nearest mainland. Welcome to Tristan da Cunha, the world's most remote inhabited island, nestled in the vast expanse of the South Atlantic Ocean. A place where isolation is not just a concept but a way of life. This island is a treasure trove of unique aspects, waiting to be explored. From its rugged landscapes to its hardy inhabitants, Tristan da Cunha is a true enigma. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of this isolated wonder. The history of Tristan da Cunha is as captivating as its isolation. Imagine you're back in the year 1506. Portuguese explorer Tristão da Cunha is on a voyage to the East Indies when he stumbles upon an uncharted island in the South Atlantic. He names it after himself but, strangely, he never sets foot on it due to its rugged and inhospitable terrain. This remote island, Tristan da Cunha, remains uninhabited for over three centuries after its discovery. Fast forward to the time of the Napoleonic Wars when the world was a chessboard for powerful empires. The British, fearing that the French might use the island as a base to rescue Napoleon from St. Helena, claimed Tristan da Cunha in 1816. But even with soldiers stationed there, the island's isolation proves too much and it is soon abandoned once again. However, Tristan da Cunha doesn't remain deserted for long. In the early 19th century, a handful of families decide to call this distant island their home. They establish a permanent community, braving the isolation and harsh weather conditions. These pioneers breed cattle, cultivate gardens, and build a life far removed from the hustle and bustle of the modern world. Their spirit of resilience is truly remarkable. Today, most of the island's inhabitants are descendants of these original settlers. They've built a tight-knit community, one that thrives despite the challenges of living in the world's most remote inhabited island. Their surnames, Glass, Green, Swain, and others echo through the island's history, a testament to their enduring presence. Tristan da Cunha's story is not one of isolation alone, but also one of resilience and survival. It's a tale of a community that has weathered storms, both literal and metaphorical, to carve out an existence in one of the most secluded corners of the globe. It's an island that has witnessed the ebb and flow of empires, yet remained steadfast in its solitude, Despite its remoteness, Tristan da Cunha has a history intertwined with the wider world. Living on Tristan da Cunha is a study in self-reliance and community spirit. Imagine a place where the hustle and bustle of city life are replaced with the rhythmic ebb and flow of the sea, where the relentless pursuit of modernity gives way to a harmonious blend of tradition and sustainability. This is life on Tristan da Cunha, where the remote locale translates into a unique lifestyle that's as intriguing as it is inspiring. At the heart of this community's existence is a reliance on the land and sea. Fishing is not just a pastime here, it's a lifeline. The vast ocean provides a bounty that sustains the islanders. From the humble crawfish to the elusive tuna, the sea's treasures are hauled in, prepared and shared, with every catch a testament to the islanders' mastery over their environment. Farming, too, is a cornerstone of life. With no supermarkets or grocery chains, the community cultivates what it consumes. Potatoes, apples, and a myriad of other crops are grown with care. Every harvest a celebration of the land's generosity. But what sets Tristan da Cunha apart is its unique socioeconomic fabric. Here, the concept of a physical money economy is almost non-existent. Instead, the island thrives on a system of bartering where goods and services are exchanged in a testament to the age-old adage that sharing is caring. Living on Tristan da Cunha also means embracing a communal lifestyle. Whether it's sharing the day's catch, helping a neighbor with chores, or coming together for a celebration, the spirit of community pervades every aspect of life. It's a lifestyle that's as heartwarming as it is practical, fostering strong bonds and shared responsibilities. Yet, this idyllic island life is not without its challenges. Limited connectivity with the outside world means that resources are often scarce, and every item that arrives is cherished. It's a life that demands adaptability, resilience, and a spirit of cooperation. Life on Tristan da Cunha is a testament to the human spirit's adaptability and resilience. Even the world's most remote island isn't immune to global challenges. Sustainability in such a remote location is no easy feat. On Tristan da Cunha, the problems are amplified by its isolation. The island has to grapple with the same issues the rest of the world faces, 
such as climate change, but with fewer resources at its disposal. Imagine trying to maintain a self-sufficient lifestyle while also battling the unpredictable weather patterns and rising sea levels that threaten your home. Yet despite these hardships, the island's inhabitants are not just surviving, they are striving to protect their unique home. Their conservation efforts are truly commendable. They've realized that their island's unique biodiversity is its greatest treasure, and they're committed to preserving it. One of the most significant initiatives is the Tristan da Cunha Marine Protection Zone. This is one of the world's largest marine protected areas, spanning almost 700,000 square kilometers. It's a sanctuary for a plethora of marine life, including endangered species like the yellow-nosed albatross and the rockhopper penguin. With this protection zone, the island is not only preserving its own biodiversity, but contributing to global conservation efforts. Through it all, Tristan da Cunha has shown an extraordinary resilience. The islanders have turned their isolation into an advantage, using it to safeguard their unique ecosystem from external threats. Tristan da Cunha stands as a beacon of hope in the face of global challenges. Tristan da Cunha, a testament to human resilience, a bastion of biodiversity and the world's most remote inhabited island. We've journeyed together through its intriguing past, filled with tales of discovery and endurance. We've glimpsed into the unique lifestyle of its residents, a community that has learned to thrive in isolation, demonstrating a spirit of adaptability that is truly inspiring. We also delved into the island's future, highlighting the commendable conservation efforts that aim to preserve its rich biodiversity. The people of Tristan de Cunha have shown us that even in the world's most remote corners, it's possible to balance human needs with nature's preservation. So, why not delve deeper? Learn more about this fascinating island and the initiatives it upholds. Every story, every effort counts in our collective journey to understand and preserve our world. As we bid farewell to Tristan de Cunha, we're reminded that even in the most remote corners of our world, life thrives, adapts, and perseveres.